Libra, hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well. All right, Libra, um, we're going to go ahead and get into your January 2023 message, okay? Um, we're going to see what's going on for you, okay? Uh, please only take what resonates, leave the rest. Go check your other placements, though, okay? You could have messages there. Uh, this message will be for Leo, <laughs> Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus, okay? Um put everybody where they go is general it's collective okay so roles and genders can be flipped around all right so we're gonna go ahead and get into your message libra see what spirit has for you today all right all right let's go ahead and get into it if you're new here welcome i hope i can help if you're returning thank you for the love and support all right this is for libra libra sun moon rising north node and venus january 2023 Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, those from the highest white light who walk with me every day. What messages do we have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus for January 2023. What does Libra need to be aware of? What's going on with Libra? Please and thank you. All right. You got uh, release. All right. And you got action. All right. Um, it says sometimes the best way to grow is to simply let go. Alrighty. All right. Action. Baby steps are still steps and they're better than standing still. Ooh. All right. So get you gotta bust a move, Libra. You gotta bust a move. Somebody got somebody has to take action, bust a move here. All right. Whatever you're releasing, it could be fear, it could be a person. You gotta do something. All right. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel the messages for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, and Venus. Block any interference that stops their messages from coming through. Please and thank you. What do we have for Libra? Okay. Libra. January 2023. I just tried to. I think I. I just seen that that uh, card, Capricorn guy. Live your soul, not a role. Okay. Love yourself. Admit your vulnerabilities. Okay. So you need to, whatever you're vulnerable about, you need to just say it, Libra. Okay. That uh, it, it is. I mean, I feel like some, it's all, all the messages really are about self love today. So go into this new year. You know, maybe that's where y'all led with it. I ain't putting up with a lot of stuff in 2023. Maybe that's where y'all led with it. Like, y'all just not settling. Like, who do you think you talking to? I'm really getting that. But somebody here does have to, to have to release something. Okay? And it deals with you loving yourself. Tell me more for uh, Libra. Admit your vulnerabilities. Okay? No way. Y'all seen that. Come on. Quit playing. <laughs> Have faith in your dreams, okay? Some of you could actually be having dreams, though. Certain dreams, maybe you see someone in your dreams. Um, but this could deal with, you know, what you want to do, what you want out of life, what you want out of a partner, anything, okay? Whatever would be what you hope and wish and dream about, all right? And this says you are good enough, okay? Uh, that's Wax and Crescent Moon, okay? That's actually where we're at right now with the moon cycle and this says full moon in virgo somebody can have virgo highly aspected or in a, a significant placement one of those placements look at the bigger picture full moon in sagittarius okay somebody can have a significant sagittarius placement okay so you are good enough look at the bigger picture have faith in your dreams love yourself admit your vulnerability take action and release okay definitely holding something in here that they need to let go of all right let's get into it Libra. You're holding on to something that you need to let go of swap out the small teddy bear for the big one okay some of you are scared to let go of something but something better is gonna take that take its place okay libra what we got for libra january 2023 look at this Seven of Wands, okay, speaks of boundaries, okay? Some of you need to place boundaries. You got the King of Pentacles, okay? So someone who's financially stable, 
okay? Uh, materially wealthy, okay? Somebody who has a lot, okay? Tell me more. What is this for Libra? Something could have something to do with you protecting your things, Libra. Getting serious about protecting your things. Some of you hide behind material things. Or this could be who you're dealing with, Libra. Look at this. Four of Cups. Didn't I say this was giving me that Capricorn reading? Well, yeah. That's what this is. It's like the energy is like, well, what now? Like, it's like somebody feels like I don't have what I want. Somebody could have just rejected you or you rejected somebody, Libra, okay? You got the Eight of Swords. Okay. Somebody feels trapped or stuck in their head or they do the same thing over and over again. Somebody could just need to heal here. Yeah, what I say? <laughs> Give me that Four of Pentacles that holding on to something too tightly. Um, just not like this is literally like stump on the log type of energy, self-sabotage. Like, it's like somebody is, this could be someone that doesn't want you to move on, Libra. Take it how it resonates. Somebody could just be trying to, like, stop you from leaving, stop you from going, block it. Something is, something or someone is a blockage or something keeps you in a place, okay? It does. It does. But for somebody here, you know, somebody could be, you know, somebody could actually be rich and famous here. Look at this split right at the Eight of Swords. Um, but somebody could actually be rich and famous here. Look at this. Five of Cups. But they're just not happy. Somebody is, like, not happy. They feel, like, trapped. Um, and this, it doesn't have to actually be rich and famous, like, celebrity type thing. But this could be where somebody feels like they're attached to something. They, you know, or something, something is attached to what they want. Okay? Something does have something to do with you keeping the hope alive. Okay, something does deal with your faith. You having faith, Libra. Okay, this could be like a kind of, a, this gives me kind of like a defeated energy as well. Like, so I was like, oh, woe is me. But you got to get up, Libra. You got to get up. Okay, justice card. All right. Give me one on this star card. But it's like whatever somebody wants is attached to something else. You know, and it's like kind of, but it's something that they want to release. But the thing is, it's like, I really feel like something could very well be a total loss if somebody gets on their healing journey and loves himself. And I don't know what the doubt is or where it's coming from. But I feel like someone feels like they have to show up a certain way because they're in the public eye. You know, someone very well could be a celebrity, though. I know I just said it doesn't have to be that, but that's really what it's giving me. They have to come off a certain way. They have to have, like, this kind of lover boy, lover boy. And, you know, like, somebody could be a husband or wife material, but they, they, it's like they continuously put love to the side or just, this, this is literally giving me that somebody is kind of absent to themselves. Like, they don't even take care of themselves with the star card and the four of cups here because of whatever this lifestyle is and this could be just take care of themselves of course they're taking care of financially aesthetically all that but it's like mind the mental state okay somebody needs to heal their mind all right they're just not satisfied like behind closed doors i take up all these things <sighs> I mean, I could just call on my maid from the next room, but I'm just still not happy because that maid can't get me what I really want, okay? That is what this is giving me. Of course, it doesn't have to be that dramatic, but I mean, yeah, it's, it's having everything but having nothing at the same time. Wow. The star, wow. Look at this, the strength card. With the King of Pentacles, I'm telling you, some it's like, it's like something. Something could also be like, uh, like I said, I feel like it's something attached to what someone really like. Like this would have to be something where somebody's like, you know what? I don't even want anything anymore. Like, it's like somebody is resisting healing. 
They are resisting a healing energy. Look at this. A change needs to happen here. Transformation. But somebody is like holding it off or something like that. But they're not happy. So Libra, I don't know why you're getting this message, okay? But it's okay to admit your vulnerabilities, okay? The things that will make you that you that you feel insecure about actually saying. Okay, it's kind of like, hey, Libra, what's up? Like this person, like, hey, Libra, what's up? And it's like, I'm good, what's up? But then when they get behind closed doors, it's like, I'm not good. Somebody really wants something here and you can have it. You just got to take action, Libra. Okay, you got to have faith in your dreams and somebody here does need to heal. Okay, this says you are good enough. Look at the bigger picture, which means that something's going to work out. But you got to love yourself enough to let go of something. Somebody is like, it's, it's like a strong arm here. All right. Something has to change. Yeah. Give me one on this four of cups and then we're going to, yeah, we're going to go ahead and. Why is this four of cups? Be clarify this four of cups for Libra. The devil. Yikes. Now we're going up a different tree. King of Pentacles still at the bottom of the deck. So what I'm getting from this is something definitely deals with toxicity. The devil card. Somebody could just be in, they have, they have fear of whatever this is. Fear of losing something. This could be their shine. This could be a platform. This could be something. But I feel like somebody is kind of stuck to something. Like it's kind of like somebody kind of, they're chained to whatever this is. It's just, it's, there's no way to keep whatever this is and go through this transformation. Basically is what they're saying. There, there's a sacrifice here, is what it looks like to me. Somebody could have just sacrificed. I don't know what they sacrificed for whatever this fame and fortune is, but there's definitely a sacrifice here in fame and fortune. Love song by Rihanna and Future is on. But somebody is just, they live this toxic lifestyle, but they're really not happy. But they gave up the great parts of themselves for whatever this is. The clout, the money, the fame. And they're kind of just stuck there. Dang. Ugh. Oh my God, Libra. It's like somebody's like, but that's the image that I've betrayed now. So I got to stay being this person because I'm known for being the sleazeball. I'm known for being the toxic playboy, playgirl. And it's like, what? All right. Let's see. Let me get one of these for Libra before we get up out of here. It's time to heal, though. Love yourself, Libra. Some of you could have been dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius or a Capricorn. But somebody blocks this out. Somebody don't want to feel soft or something. It's something like that. Somebody's like, no. Love. What? Mean speak no English. Okay. <laughs> It says the golden mirror. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. And not enough. Oh, man. What I say? I already said it. This ain't enough. Somebody's not happy. It says self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Mm. This could be someone who glorifies home wrecking or, or you know, just... Breaking people's heart, rejecting people. Ugh. Oof. And this says not a love, not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. Thank y'all for confirming that. Exactly. That's exactly what this is. Yeah. They gotta keep up this image. 
Yeah. But they really would love love. Yeah. And that doesn't even have to be romantic love. Just it's just they don't it's just they don't have anything there. This big old house and it's empty. It's nothing there. But people who work for them or can service them. They have convenience, but pleasures because of money. But there's nothing else. Yeah, somebody somebody wants something that money can't buy, but they don't have it because they, they there's it's something to do with reputation here, you know. Say, you know, so somebody can won't take them serious who they would really dream to have and obtain. They feel like that person wouldn't take them serious, but they really scared because they scared of rejection. This listen, I ain't gonna go all night with you, Libra, but you know, I feel I really feel like somebody needs some motivation, so. And I don't let's let's I don't know. Let's get one of these. Kind of just freestyling it. Like I said in other readings. <sighs> but let's see. January 2023. It just says have faith in your dreams. So continue to keep the faith. You are good enough. Okay, for those, you know, somebody could think they're not good enough. Oh, I've already messed up my reputation. Nobody likes me. You know, I, I'm, I'm toxic. I have the same way of doing things. But somebody here, they, yeah, they have to, they definitely have the potential. Okay, so somebody could just be loving themselves. Give me one of these, please, for Libra. Peace. Try to come out in that reverse. Yikes. But anyway, so somebody like they don't have any peace with whatever this is in change. We kept trying to see that dev card. Somebody needs to go through a transformation, but it's just too much so much comes with it. But it looks like this where they at with it. It says, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Okay. So that's part of the healing process. And this is I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yep. I'm telling you. All right, Libra, that's your reading for January 2023. Y'all be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.